Swapping rows and columns is easy in Google Sheets. Let's get started. On my screen now, I have different colors that are all jumbled up. I want to make them into four separate rectangles. So first, I have a column up the top here. Let's move a column. So I've got column K, and this column K header I want to click. So I'll click that. I'm going to left mouse click and move that over and drag it over to column C here. And you can see that's joined. Now I can do the same with a row. And all you're doing is grabbing this uh, row 22 hitter and clicking it and then clicking and dragging up. So you can also move multiple columns in multiple rows. And to do this, all you need to do is click the first column or row that you want to move and then hold shift down and click the next one. Uh, you can also click multiple. So instead of two, if I want all of these, I'll just hold shift down and click all. But let's go back. So I'm going to hold, I'm going to click this column G, hold shift down and then click H. And then while my finger is on the shift key, I'm going to move this across to go next to D. And let's do the same here. So I'm going to hold row seven down, hold shift down and click row nine. So I've got that entire range. And then I'm going to left mouse click and drag it all the way down while my finger is on the shift key to get inside the red. And now we've got our four colored rectangles. Okay, before we wrap up, let's see how moving columns and rows affects formulas. So on this sheet, I have two functions and both are join functions. And if you click on E1 here, you can see that it is joining together C1 and D1 to make this is some text. Now, if I move D across, let's see what happens to the formula. So now it's only referencing D1. So keep that in mind when you are moving columns and rows around that your functions may not work how you expect them to. Let's see how this works on these rows. So I've got this function here, so join, and this is joining together C1 to C4 to create this is some more text. So if I move three, row three up to, to become row two, let's see what happens. So this is more some text. So it's joining all those together. It hasn't broken our range yet. Okay, so what happens if I move the bottom one? So let's do the bottom two. So I'm gonna click on row four, hold shift down to row three, and then keeping my finger on shift, moving it up to row one. Now it's only showing me this is more. So now it's only selected the ranges from C3 to C4. So it's very important to keep an eye on your formulas when you're moving your rows and columns around. If you enjoyed the tutorial, click the like button and subscribe. If you're looking for a project-based course to get you from Google Sheets beginner to pro, check out the link to my course in the description below.